Hi folks, David Waring here again with LearnBonds.com and today we're going to be talking about what happens when a bond defaults. A default happens when a company stops paying interest on a bond and or does not repay the principal at maturity. Unlike treasury securities which are considered risk free because they are backed by the full faith and credit of the US federal government, corporate bonds default on a regular basis. What happens to bondholders when a corporate issuer defaults? Typically companies file for bankruptcy protection prior to a default. If a company defaults without declaring bankruptcy first, then creditors are likely to force them into bankruptcy. US companies can file for bankruptcy either under Chapter 7 or Chapter 11. Here's an overview of each. Under Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the company ceases operations and goes out of business. The courts will have to first determine that reorganization and recovery is neither realistic nor worthwhile. The court then appoints a trustee whose core responsibility will be to liquidate all company assets and ensure the proceeds are used to pay outstanding claims. There is a predetermined pecking order through which outstanding claims are paid. First are the secured creditors and holders of senior debt. Next are the ordinary bondholders. Equity shareholders are last in line. Since the Chapter 7 bankruptcy inevitably implies the sale of company assets, there is a stark difference between a company with hard assets and one with intellectual capital in the form of employees. Hard assets can be sold. Great employees, on the other hand, no matter how good, cannot be sold and are an intangible asset. There is no timeline as to when bondholders will receive payment, as it all depends on the speed of asset disposal and whether any funds remain after creditors have been paid. Payments to bondholders may be distributed in several stages as assets are sold off. It is not unusual for the process to take from one to three years before the last payment is distributed. The trustee is, however, expected to communicate with bondholders and keep them up to date during the process. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is more widespread, as well as being more costly and complex. In a nutshell, Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows the business to continue operating shielded from recovery actions from its creditors. All major business decisions must, however, obtain approval from the bankruptcy court. The company is reorganized in order to return to profit and normalcy in operations. The debt must almost inevitably be restructured. Both the Chapter 7 and Chapter 11 bankruptcy are likely to leave corporate bondholders with some loss. Under Chapter 11, corporate bondholders no longer receive principal and interest payments, just like the shareholders would no longer receive a dividend. As soon as the reorganization plan has been agreed upon by a company's management, it is made known to creditors, including bondholders. The plan outlines the creditors' rights and what they can expect to get once the reorganization is complete. Bondholders may be issued with new stock or a combination of stocks and bonds in the restructured corporation in exchange for their existing bonds. The new securities are often fewer and are of lower value than the original bond. No two bankruptcies are ever the same, so the exact course of action in the event of a Chapter 7 or Chapter 11 will vary. Does the bond still trade when a company goes into bankruptcy? Yes. In most cases, the bond's price is at a very steep discount to the face value of the debt. Most investors will not buy the debt of bankrupt companies. Specialists called distressed debt traders and nicknamed vultures because they pick over the carcasses of dead companies will determine the value of the debt. In the case of Chapter 7, they value the company based on how much money they think the assets of the company are worth and how long the sale of those assets will take. For Chapter 11, the evaluation is much trickier as the legal wranglings will have a major impact on the value of the debt. That's our lesson for today. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. For more great bond information, also be sure to visit us at LearnBonds.com, follow us on Twitter at LearnBonds, and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash LearnBonds page. Thanks for watching.